today we are going to be looking at another aspect of expansion of brackets. A special aspect of expansion of brackets. I know you are going to love this, but one of the things you will do for me is to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have not done so, turn on the post notification bell so that anytime we upload my brain content guide, you will be notified and ensure that you like this video. Now, finally, do not skip any part of this video if you must get everything that we will teach in the course of this class. Guys, let's get started. Now, this happens to be question number 23. It's a continuation class anyway. So, question number 23, question number 24. You only have these two questions in this video. And you must ensure you do not skip this video till you watch it to completion. Now, let's start it. Now, let's get started. We are asked to find the coefficient of n. You see, now this is not just normal expression, but it's an expression question. This is where we have challenges with students. Now we are asked to find the coefficient of n in 4n plus 3, open bracket, n minus 5, close bracket, minus 2n minus 3. Of course, here, yeah, we already have coefficient of n in different form. So for me to be able to find the coefficient of n, n squared, or even the value of the constant here, it shows that I have to simplify this question to a point where I will only have n once. Where I will only have terms in n in one place. Hope you understand this, yes. Now, here now, I have this as 4n, I have this as 1n, and I have this as 2n in two places. And I cannot just come here and I say, okay, 4 is the coefficient of n, because I have numbers of coefficients of n in this question. For me to be able to get the coefficient of n here, I have to simplify this question to a point where the test in n will appear once. And how do I have that done? I need to work expand. So this question, we are still going to be solving it using the theory or the laws of expansion. It is after we have expanded this question and simplified it to its least level that we can now compare and get the coefficient of n. Because at this point now, we have several coefficients of n, which cannot be our answer. Now let's get started. This is a solution. We have 4 n plus 3 into n minus 5 minus open bracket 2 n minus 3. And we said that this bracket 2n minus 3 all squared means 2n minus 3 multiplied by another 2n minus 3. Then we have 2n minus 3. It's as simple as this. So the next thing we are going to do is to use that short method of multiplication. We don't need to be taking one term at a time to multiply each bracket. Otherwise, we are going to have this cover the whole board. So to avoid that, we are just going to do direct multiplication. So we come to the first bracket, the first term there, we multiply the two terms in the second bracket. So we are going to have 4n times n. This will give us 4n squared. Now 4n also times minus 5. This will give us minus 20n. We are done using the first term in the first bracket to multiply the two terms in the second bracket. Now we are done with that. Then we come to the first bracket. Again, the second term in the first bracket is 3 plus 3. And that plus 3 we also multiply the two terms in the second bracket. So we are going to have minus 3 times n. So guys, we are going to have plus 3 times n, which will give us plus 3n, and plus 3 times minus 5. That would have given us minus 50. Don't forget, minus times plus is minus. Now we can decide to use brackets here to separate this term from this other term, then minus Open a bracket. The same thing we are going to do here. The first term here, we multiply both the first term and the second term in the second bracket. So we are going to have 2n times 2n, and that would have given us 4n squared. And 2n times minus 3, we are going to have minus 6n. We are done using the first term in the second bracket to multiply the two terms in the second bracket, right? Now the next thing we are going to do is to come to the second term in the first bracket, which happens to be minus 3. So we are going to also use this minus 3 to multiply the two terms in the second bracket. It's as simple as this. So minus 3 times 2n, we are going to have minus 6n. And minus 3 times minus 3, guys, we are going to have plus 9. It's as simple as that. Minus times minus is plus. 
So guys, the next thing we are going to do is that in the first bracket, the two middle terms are come up, and also in the last bracket, the two middle terms are come up, so we simplify. Now, minus 20 plus 3n would are going to give us minus 17n. So we are going to have 4n squared minus 17n minus 15. Then this minus at the center, then open bracket, 4n squared. Now, minus 6 minus 6 will give us minus 12. Then attach your n. So minus 6n minus 6n is minus 12n plus 9. Finally, the next thing we are quickly going to do, guys, is to clear all the brackets and understand that the question here is 1. So 1 times 4n squared is going to give us 4n squared. 1 times minus 17, we have minus 17n. And 1 times minus 15, we have minus 15. Now, don't forget that in this other bracket, we, are, we have minus 1 here. Right? Yes. We have minus 1. So minus 1 times 4n squared, we are going to have minus 4n squared. Now, minus 1 times minus 12. Guys, we have plus 12n. Don't forget, minus times minus is plus. Now, 1 times 12n is 12n. Then finally, minus 1 times plus 9 is minus 9. Because minus times plus is minus. Then, the next thing we do is to arrange these functions or these terms. Now, how do you arrange the terms? You take the n squared first. This is 4n minus another 4n squared. We are done with the power of 2. We come to normal n. So first is the positive, which is 12n, now followed by 17n. Then for the numbers, we now have minus 15, minus 9. Finally, guys, this 4n squared, we cancel 4n squared because plus 4n squared minus 4n squared is 0. Then we ignore. 12n minus 17n, guys, we will we have minus 5n. And minus 15 minus 9 will have given us minus 24. It's as simple as this. So at this point now, we cannot simplify this question further. All we just need to do is to now find the coefficients of n. So at this point, where we have successfully simplified this whole expression to its least form, this is where it is minus 5. Therefore, the coefficient of n is minus 5. Not just 5, but minus 5. It's as simple as this. So you see now we expanded before we could get the coefficient of n. Now, question number 24, which happens to be the second case of this. We are asked to find the coefficient of a, x squared, b, x. So we are looking for the coefficient of two things here. One is the coefficient of x squared. The second is the coefficient of x. Now, on another term, you can still have c as the constant, which is this now. For this case, I assume we are asked to find the constant. The answer to the constant now would have been what? Minus 24. All right? Another question can come in that way when you are asked to find the constant. Okay, now, let's solve this question. Now, the first thing we do is to put out our solution. And here we have x plus 1 times 2x minus 3 plus x minus 4. Now, don't forget that x minus 4 squared means x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 4 in two places. All we need to do now is to multiply uh, using our short method of multiplication. Uh, how do we do that? We come to the first bracket, the first term, then we multiply both the first term and the second term in the second bracket. So we are going to have n times x times 2x. Guys, this will give us 2x squared. Now, x times minus 3, this will give us minus 3x. We are done using the first term in the first bracket to multiply the two terms in the second bracket. The next thing now is, is to get to the second term in the first bracket and use it to multiply the two terms in the second bracket. So we are going to have plus 1 times 2x, which will give us 2x, and plus 1 times minus 3, that will also give us minus 3. We can put this in the bracket, then plus open a bracket for the second aspect of it. Now, S times S. So we also have that the first term in the first bracket multiply the, both the first term and the second term inside the second bracket, right? So S times S, we have X squared. S times minus 4, we have minus 4X. We are done with that. Then we come to the second term in the first bracket, which we also multiply 
the two terms inside the first bracket. Inside the second bracket. Alright? So now we have this. Now, minus 4 times x, guys, we have minus 4x. And minus 4 times minus 4, we have plus 16. Don't forget, that minus times minus is plus. Now we are going to go. So at this point, now these two middle terms can be solved. These two middle terms also can be simplified. Hence, this will have given us 2x squared minus x. Guys, minus 3x plus 2x will give us minus 1x. And that's exactly what we have here as minus 1x. Then minus 3. Then plus open bracket x squared. Minus 4x minus 4x will give us minus 8x plus 16. This is it, guys. So the next thing we do is to remove the bracket. To clear up the bracket, of, of course, we know that here we have 1. 1 times everything here, it will remain the same. So we have minus x minus 3. Then plus 1, multiply everything here, we also remain the same because plus will never change internal signs. Okay, so we have minus 8x plus 16. Guys, the next thing we are quickly going to do now is to arrange them according to the degree of x. So the first degree here, the higher degree here is 2x squared. Plus s squared. We are done with the s squared. Alright? Now we'll come to the x. For the x, we have minus 8x minus x. And also we have plus 16 for the constant minus 3. Now the next thing we do is 2x squared plus 1x squared will give us 3x squared. Minus 8x minus x. Or minus 8x minus 1x will give us minus 9x. And 16 minus 3, we have plus 13. This is the least form we can factorize. It. At this point now, we can now get the coefficient of x squared and as well get the coefficient of x. Of course, we cannot, there is no way we can find the coefficient of x from here because we have several coefficients of x. Here we have one, here we have two, here we have one. So we have to reduce it to a point where x will appear once. S will appear once before we can what extract the coefficient. So at this point now, therefore, the coefficient of a s squared is three, and for b x is minus nine. It's as simple as this. So, for x squared, the coefficient is 3. And for x, the coefficient is 9. Now, what happens if we have options here? We are asked to find the constant. That means the constant is 13. It's as simple as this. So, guys, see you in the next video where we shall be looking at what? Factorization of quadratic expression and other form of factorization. Now, guys, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and ensure you turn on the post notification bell so that anytime we upload my free content, guys, you will be notified. I and also ensure that you like this current video you are just watching before you move to the next and share this video in your, your different social media platforms. Inform your friends and your enemies. See you guys in the next.